watching YBL TV. Dynamic signage and food services. How did you get involved in it? Mm, uh, food service is one of the exciting areas, probably one of the more exciting applications of dynamic signage. And I've I've recently landed on this because of the income the incoming uh, the the upcoming requirement for food services providers to include caloric information on their menu boards. Tell us about the guidebook that you've got. What I've done is uh, answered the questions that I've been getting. So as questions have come in, uh, rather than answering them on a one-off basis, I pulled them together into a guidebook that really is a how-to guide that will allow food services organizations to know what to do to get it right and to undertake projects internally that they might not otherwise be able to take on. Because after all, dynamic signage generally isn't an area of their expertise. They make delicious food we all love, but getting this aspect of their business right could be a bit challenging to them. What's the future of digital signage for the restaurant industry? Well, they, they are already moving aggressively in that direction. And let's, and, and let's, let's sort of set the bar that the the medium has proven itself. It has already been used by some of the, the innovators and the early adopters have really proven the business value that they can get. So we're at the point now where some legislation is driving the, the value proposition, but the entire industry would naturally be going in that direction. Why? Because they're seeing it in their competitors. They're seeing dynamic signage used in, in banks, in, uh, in uh, subways, uh, and street furniture, and everywhere else. It's a reflection of the fact that the medium has, the medium has proven itself, and it now wants to go to work for a new constituency of users. And it's a large constituency, by the way. Uh, as, as I've looked into this in producing the, the, the guidebook, which is, by the way, available for free, and I'm happy to provide that information later. But there are, there are 980,000 food service providers, quick serve restaurants, fast casual, cafeterias, uh, corporate dining locations, concessions and stadiums. And, and these companies at about 660 billion a year in revenues account for 47% of food expenditures in North America. So it's very important that these businesses as employers and providers of the, the basics of life to us can do that in an effective and efficient and hopefully profitable way. What's the most important feature or issue, a concern that, that restaurant owners are facing that they definitely need to take advantage of right now? Great, great question. And, it, and the answer is in a single word, differentiation. They have to be able to present what it is that they're offering is different. And that's not just in their, in their delicious food products, but it's in the environment that they're offering as well. They want to uh, assure that they can be a destination, be the chosen location for those times when we want to be together, not just for food because we need it, but with our friends and with our family. So it's all about differentiation. What concepts, what technologies have you seen here at the show that, that really has jumped out at you and said, wow? Great, great question again. And, and what I would characterize this year in its 10th year is that um, there's no longer what I would call a, a culture of technology in involving digital signage. I'm seeing a shift this year, a profound shift into a culture of content where the content actually delivers the business value. And so the technology backdrop that is over a couple of hundred booths here is really about the capacity to deliver that content and the customer experience, the patron experience on site. That's the major shift that's happened, that's happened this year.